Check this out. This is just one of many growing homeless camps all over the valley. But new this morning, could you be a part of the problem? Well, our very own Marissa Caniston spoke to Catholic Charities and joins us live from Charleston and Pecos with one thing that you can actually do to help because sometimes we don't know what we should do, Marissa. Yeah, Dana, that's right, but I did get this very simple trick. Take a look at these cards. One is actually a card with directions on how to get to Catholic Charities. The other is a 24 hour bus pass. Now people at Catholic Charities call this responsible giving. So if you're somebody, if you see somebody at an intersection or on the side of the road, instead of giving them a couple bucks cash, you can actually hand them those cards I just held up. Now people working at Catholic Charities say the cards are more helpful to getting the homeless some help and don't enable them to stay on the streets. They say doing this could break endless cycles like what neighbors are seeing with the dumps here at Charleston and Pecos. My advice to people is direct and redirect your generosity to organizations like ours that can do the most good for the most people. Now we did reach out to the owners of this lot here behind me, but the numbers listed actually weren't uh, working in service. Marissa Keniston, 13 Action News.